Hello, students. Good evening to everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. Welcome. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here in my English class and also getting ready to start class today. So before that we start, I just want to ask you a couple of questions related to the previous classes. First of all, we had to, you know, be encouraged and motivated to do our best in our English class. And, uh, and I also, I have a good time to practice with you guys. So let's work. And what did we study in the last class? What do you remember? What do you remember we studied in the, in the last class according to the topics that we socialized? Who wants to tell me what do you remember we did in the class, what activities we developed, and also you can mention some examples that you would like to share. I remember that we studied uh, can and shoot. Okay, great. We started shoot, can and should, all right. And when do we use should? Do you remember, guys, when do we use should? Yes. And uh, what is the function of should? Para que usamos should? Para recomendaciones. Ah, for recommendations. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So we're talking about for recommendations and also for things that we can do. That's correct. Well, um, let's see in this side here, uh, the exercises we have. So let's break. Let me present the topic today. What's the topic for this class? Who wants to help me to read it? I need a volunteer. Yes, what's the what's the um, the topic for this class? Can you see the yes, Rebecca? Yeah. Model one, section one, uh, model verbs can, can, and make or respect. Okay, thank you. So in that case, we will uh, talk a little bit about the model verbs can and also um, could make for request. Well, when we're talking about modal verbs, we're talking about uh, a very important uh, structures. And um, in conclusions, I could say that about the modal verbs, um, we can use to express abilities, to express necessities, to express condition and express mo models. So, That's the, the main point about that, guys. So, entonces, cuando hablamos de, de los modal verbs, estamos hablando de eh, verbos auxiliares que expresan habilidad, necesidad y condición. So, you don't have to forget that. Okay, so, are you ready? Yes? Ready, ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's go. Yes. Perfect. Okay, look at this one. We have, oh my God, so infinitive complements. Wow, you know, being sick is so, it's not so good. Okay, so look at this health problems and choose several pieces of good advice for each problem. Okay, so what should you do for a cold? Es como la pregunta, ¿y, y, y, qué, ¿y qué me recomendás o qué debería tomar para cuando tengo gripe? Por ejemplo, you, you see the example here. So, what, what, should you, what should you do for a cold? Entonces, usted puede utilizar estas dos expresiones que son básicas. It's important to, it's important to, look at that. Look at the, the example. Um, you should, in that case, um, you should get a lot of rest. Uh, when you have a cold, do you get a, a lot of rest? Cuando ustedes tiene gripe, descansa? Or not? Or just taking medicine?
No? It's a recommendation. So you can see that. Um, it's um, sometimes helpful to eat garlic soap. Have you tried garlic soap when you have a cold? Yes or not? Honestly, no. No, <laughs> okay. I, I understand that, it's recommendable. Okay, so look at that one. Uh, look at the next one. One second. I'm sorry, just give me one second. Okay, so let's see the next one. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Yeah, this is a good recommendation, of course. When you have a cold, it's recommendable to take some vitamin C. Okay, so now I want you to help me with the following exercise. Look at these health problems and choose several pieces of good advice for each problem. In this case, I need a volunteer for helping me to read the problems. Who wants to do it? I need one volunteer that says, teacher, I want to read it. Yes? A ver. A volunteer to read the problems? Um, okay. Oh, thank you. Problems. A sore throat, throat, cough, backache, fever, a toothache, a bad headache, a burn, the flu. Okay, thank you so much. And who wants to help me to read also in the advice, the suggestions, the recommendation? Who wants to help me to read this part? Yes, a volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you. Take some vitamin C. B, put some ointment on it c drink a lot of liquids d go to the bed and the rest e put put a he put a heating pad on it f put it under cool water g take some aspirin h see a dentist why see a doctor g j get some medicine okay thank you so much for that yes um so we have some problems and possible advice that we can try so what are we going to do right now in this activity so first of all we had to match the problem with a possible advice so for example, the start throw. And what possible answer do we have about start throw? So we can also work together and check what possibilities we have in this case. And let's work together. Number one, start throw. What possible advice can we give? Yes. Short throw, what possible advice can we give? Yes. Sí. And drink a lot of liquids. Okay. Yes. Yes, there is a possibility too. Thank you. What about a cough? What, what do you recommend? Yes, yes, yes. Get some medicine. Uh, for the cough, get some, what number? Medicine? What letter? Um, number one. At, um, so number one is sore throat. It's like drink a lot of liquids. And a cold, number two. And number two, a cold. What possible answer we can get from that? Get some medicine. Get some medicine. Okay, let's see.
it's also a good recommendation. It's letter J, right? Uh, what about a backache? What What do you think about a backache? What What do you think about this? Letter D. Uh, backache will be letter D. Go to bed and rest. Yeah. Okay. And get to bed and rest. So that would be letter D. And what about a fever? What recommendations can you give about fever? Uh, letter G, take some aspirin. Or maybe put an insulin pad on it. Mm -hmm. But fever is something complicated. Yeah. So what would we do? See a doctor. See a doctor. I think it's because it's, it's not good. Your body is not working properly, so it's recommendable to see a doctor because it could be something serious. Our body is saying that we are not good, and also we need to go to the doctor to see what happened. What about a toothache? See a dentist. See a dentist. Oh, see a dentist. Do you like to go to the dentist? It's, it's not a problem going to the dentist. Or don't you like to go? It's because some people don't like to go to the dentist. They say, no, I don't want to go to the dentist. I don't feel good. So they are like that. Okay, so let's see. Um, what about a bad headache? Letter G. A bad headache is letter D. G. Ah, G. Letter G. 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 Uh, just say, and uh, let's see. Take some aspirin. Yes, take some aspirin. Could be, could be good because you don't feel good. Taste. Aspirin. Okay. Okay. What about a burn? What do you have for a burn? It's a letter B, but some ointment on it. Yes. Okay. It's because you need some ointment. It's like a recommendation for that. What about the flu? The flu. Letter A. Uh, take some vitamin C. Yeah. A. Okay. Yes, that's right. And guys, the pronunciation about this is a vitamins. Repeat with me. Vitamins. 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 Okay. That's great. It's with our vitamins. Okay, congratulations. We, we have selected great answers. Oh, do you have a question before we go on to the next part? Uh, questions or not? Uh, yes, I have a question, but it's about uh, the last, last topic. The, the topic of the, the of Friday, the last Friday. Okay, tell me. Okay, okay. Uh, last Friday we studied uh, should and can't, and I have a question. When we say that can is used to for possibilities, we are uh, we meant so we refer to two options. I mean, me, I mean, many options. Of things that you can do or you can't do. Okay, in that case, well, if we talk about can as a general rule, a can can be used for possibilities, also can use for abilities, but at the same time, can can be used for permissions. A, when you ask someone to do things, can you do that one? You can do this one. So you ask someone to do something specifically. And also can can be used to talk about possibilities. Always you use it with another bird, like I can do that, I can refer, I can recommend. So you, you can use it to talk about possibilities or when you ask someone to do something. In the case of should, it's when you give recommendations specifically. So that's the difference about both. 
So that's the main rule of this. I don't know if I could respond to your answer, your equation. Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So yes, in that case, it also can be used when you ask someone to do something. And for possibilities. Yes. Okay, so let's work, work with the following exercise right now. Okay, talk about the problem in part eight and give an advice, what other advice do you have? Look at this one. You have someone who suffers from the toothache. Um, you as a professional, what recommendation could you give someone who, you know, has a terrible toothache? What recommendations can, can you give it to this person? Yes, toothache. What do you recommend as a remedy? And she needs to go to the dentist. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the most valuable answer. And if there is any other possibility, what could be? What other remedy could be great for you? Another remedy for a toothache? Okay, teacher. Uh, she take uh, um, some clavito de olor. Uh, excuse me? What, where, where is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, for a toothache, tooth, tooth uh, she take some clavito de olor, el dolor de muelas. Put clavas. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Como es, como es dice? Full clavas. Okay. It's it's like uh, some herbs. Um, it's it's a kind of herbs that we say in Spanish como un tipo de hierbas, right? Ajá, uh -huh, cabal. So the exactly. kind of herbs. Okay, that can help you to release the pain. So can help you when you had a terrible pain. Okay. That could be another example too. What happens when you have fever? What do you recommend when someone has fever? What recommendation can be very valuable for you to try when you have fever? He needed to see uh, doctor. You need to, um, yeah, go to the doctor and also um, home remedy. Uh, or grandma medicine. Oh, okay. Take some aspirin. Uh, aspirin. Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. I, re I remember ah. my, my grandmother. I remember my grandmother uh, take alcohol in my whole body. <laughs> okay. Take alcohol in your body. External, yeah, yeah, yeah. External, right? Ice. Ice too. Ah, okay. Iced and also external alcohol, right? No internal, yeah. but no internal. Yeah. It's external alcohol. Yeah. External. Yes, okay, external. Okay. yes. Because cold it, water. Because internal is another thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. So that is a good brand. Uh, just sure take a set of minutes. Okay. That don't take it. Tomar Anadin también. Put with cloth on hair. Okay, so that, that could be another possibility. Yes, so a kind of painkiller. Let's see. What about sore muscles? Sore muscles. Think about it. Sore muscles is like dolor muscular. So what recommendation could be important for sore muscles? Um, in my case, I, I take metocarbamol. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a medicine, pills. Okay, so 
pills, prescribed, yeah. prescribed pills. Okay. What else? Uh, uh, massage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, some yoga. Some? Some do some yoga. Ah, yoga. Oh, that's another strategy. So why, why don't we try it? It's good. Okay, excellent, guys. That is very nice. Well, let's continue with the following uh, part of the class. And also, I have uh, another exercise for you that I want you to do. And um, let's move here. Let's practice discussion difficult situations. It says, what do you do in these situations? Think of three suggestions for each situation. What do you do when you feel very stressed? You think about it, what possibilities, you know, what can we do when we're stressed? First, uh, take a shower or then uh, take a nap or go to bed or try to eat something with energy, uh, energizer. Entonces, usted va a pensar en un remedio para cada una de estas cosas. You have an argument with a friend. De repente usted, pues, se, se discutió con alguien y, y quedó como estresado. Aquí en El Salvador la gente dice acalorado. No sé, es una terminología bien clásica. Es que terminó acalorado por, por la discusión. I don't know. It's like somebody was mad. What a little uncomfortable. And it's 2 a.m. and you can't sleep. Entonces son de las 2 de la mañana y no puede dormir. ¿Qué, qué sugiere? ¿Qué recomendación? Ok. Eh, no tomar café, I don't know, it's wait, uh, try to sleep earlier or try to eat healthy, drink water, hydrate. So you think about some possibilities. Um, someone is standing near you faints. De repente está alguien a la par suya y se desmaya. ¿Qué va a pasar? ¿Qué va a hacer? And the last one, you need to study, but you can't concentrate. What recommendations could be better for, you know, concentrate and also of be focused in your studies? So what we had to do right now is that we are going to complete the following exercise. Vamos a completar el siguiente ejercicio. Necesito su ayuda. Y um, este, vamos a trabajar esa parte. Les quiero compartir este, esta imagen por... Quiero ver, permítanme, permítanme. Vamos a ver aquí. Eh, por el chat para que usted pueda tener estas partes, esas preguntas. Entonces, si usted entra al chat, va a ver ahí que se los acabo de mandar. Usted los lee y busca un posible remedio o una posible solución. Ok, so, entonces eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Bien, eh, aparte de eso, mientras ustedes trabajan en eso, yo voy a pasar la asistencia. Yes. So if you allow me one moment, I will take a short time to check the attendance list. So I need your attention and also work with that one. Let's see here. Hey, you listen your name and you say present. Eh, Ada Agar Burgos. Present. Thank you. Blanca Elena Melara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Let's see. Christian uh, Salatiel Molina. Present. Claudia Lisette Velasquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, David Roberto Aquino. David Roberto Aquino. Present the teacher. Present. Oh, okay. Present. All right. Okay. And uh, Dennis Francisco Alvarado. Dennis Francisco. Yes, present. Thank you. Elena Gabriela Jovel. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez. Está? Here, aquí. Okay. Um, Giselle, Giselle Emperatriz Caños. 
Present. Thanks. Hector Iván Pérez Martínez. Hector eh, eh, Iván. Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Jocelyn Stephanie. No. Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. You, Mark Antonio Quijano. Mark Antonio. Present. Oh, he's there. Present. Uh, Mar Maria Elena Flores. Maria Elena Flores. No. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present. Uh, Rebecca Junel Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, Vanessa Gabriel Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Xiomara Elizabeth Hernandez. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica Esmeralda Martinez. Present teacher. And Jocelyn Elizabeth Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. All right, I think most of you are here. Uh, María Elena Flores, you raise your hand. Tiche, tenía muteado el, el micrófono. <laughs> Let me check. check. Uh, María Elena Flores. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, porque no tenía acá. Ok, ya se lo agregué. Sí. Gracias. You're welcome. All right, so let's see the exercise about difficult situations. Uh, do you have some ideas about it or you are still working on it? Teacher, lo siento, se me desconectó el internet y no pude decir presente, pero aquí estoy. Um, your name? What's your name? Hector. Hector Iván Pérez Martínez. Ah, okay. Thanks, Hector. So, according to the list, we are missing Jocelyn Stephanie Mejia. And then all of you are here. So it's good. It's a great number. Very successful. Okay, so are you ready? Um, not yet. Um, yes. Yes, ready, teacher. You're ready. Okay, David. Yes, okay. ready. You're ready too. Okay, Marco, ready? Dennis? Yes. Excellent. So let's work in the breakup rooms and what, what will be the main goal about these conversations? You will talk about this situation and you will try to give your personal uh, recommendation for every situation that we have right there. This is a good time for all of you to communicate and practice, produce the language. So don't be afraid and practice. If you don't know how to say something, you could ask to your partners. You also could ask me uh, without any problem. So let's work in the breakup rooms. We are 20. Okay, four members would be great for, for this each group. Four members for each group. Okay, así que vamos a dar inicio y hablando full inglés, ¿verdad? Ahí trate de practicar su vocabulario, ya que este es un momento para que usted pueda producir el idioma de la mejor manera. Let's go. Ok, veo que algunos no han entrado todavía, entonces voy a pedirles que entren 
por ahí les mandé la, la solicitud para que puedan entrar. Michelle, los... Yo entré y me sacó del, 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 del grupo. Jocelyn, vamos a ver. Sí, dónde entré estamos. a un grupo y luego me, me sacó. Vale, entonces la voy a mover a otro grupo. La voy a mover al grupo. Bueno. Let's see. Jocelyn. La voy a mover al 2. Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. And also, vamos a mover a Gisela to the group number one. Alguien más? Someone else? What, and what do you do when you when you feel with headache? I take a uh, 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 acetaminophen. Mm -hmm. And you? And in my case, I uh, take vitamins or uh, I go to the doctor. And... <laughs> Christian? I... <laughs> Bueno, lo diré en general porque ahorita no estoy viendo cómo decirlo. Bueno, por lo general yo no padezco dolores de cabeza, así que realmente no, no, no sé qué otras cosas más que to the rain and the spring. Vaya, entonces a Oscar va. Quiero ver, what do you do when... Ah... Ah, el teacher compartió. Eh, yes. Ah, vaya, quiero, vaya, a, a usted, vaya. What do you do when you, when you can't sleep? Ah, uh, ¿qué hora me duermo? No, ¿qué hace usted cuando no puede dormir? Uh, what do you do when you can't sleep? Um, I can. Yo, I have. Yo hago es. I. Yo hago es do. Puede decir I listen to music. Um, I. I study my class. <laughs> no, cuento ovejas. <laughs> I call, I account. Also, I count a uh, beer. Also. <laughs> <laughs> Soy fácil de dormir, pero <laughs> igual, o sea, hay que decir algo siempre. <laughs> Cuento But, osos. I, uh, I account beer. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, vaya. What do you do when you feel... Stress, stress. Uh -huh. Um, I watch TV, um, series or series, series or películas, movies, Movie. movies, and the action. And quién, quién más? No sé quién más va a participar. What else? Who else? Okay. When I feel me very stressed, I search for a place where where I can stay alone um, and then relax. That's what I do. 
casi no se le escucha, fíjese, pero está bien. Pero deeply. In case I I try to to think in other in in other thing, for example, in the sea or in the place, good, very good. Mm -hmm. In my case, I try to read sometimes. Uh, uh, that is that is uh, very boring for me. For example, uh, um, alguna obra literaria que, que me haya resultado bastante aburrida. No sé, obra literaria. Pero no la Biblia. No, 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 no. No, tiene que ser alguna cosa que sea como. Ah, quizás una obra literaria o alguna, bueno, algunas personas dicen que se ponen a contar cabritas, ¿verdad? Para dormir. En realidad no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Ovejitas, ovejitas se ponen a contar. Yo Ajá, le... ovejitas. Yo sé le... una pregunta. Yo sé le... One question, yo sé. Le... ¿Será que solo yo la miro bien jovencita a Kenia? ¿O ustedes, Héctor y yo, se la miran bien si a ella? ¿Cuántos Pero, años me quedan? Sí, no. ¿Como 25? No. <risa> Más. Bueno, 20. Tengo 21. Soy chiquita. Ah, pues estamos iguales, mire usted. Ah. <risa> no, no, pues, no, eso es noto, eso es noto. Que <risa> Okay, okay. Next, next question, please. Okay. Quiero ver. Mm, sí. eh, what do you do when? What do you when? No, pero, 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 quiero ver. Song. Eh. Do you need to study, but you can't. Ajá, es, ajá, song study, nerve, you pain. No sé cómo se, se pronuncia eso, lo último. Pains, Ahí lo quiere decir que si alguien se le desmaya a uno la par, ¿qué hicieran ustedes? Ajá. First I call a emergency ambulance. Me too. Yo también. Mm -hmm. I call yes, a doctor mm -hmm. or a police. I call a doctor. Sería, me sería... Me también. <laughs> I call a doctor. <laughs> practice the, the first, sí, puede ser, puede first ser. auxilios. Sí, o sea, cada, doctor, ajá, cada doctor or... ¿Cómo se dice desmayarse? Quiero ver. Pero, Red Cross. Pero, dice desmayarse es faint, ¿verdad? Faint. Faint. Sí. Ajá, faint. No sé cómo se pronuncia porque como faint. la... la faint. Ajá. Adam, así se pronuncia. Si no le preguntamos al teacher. It's pain. Yes, it's pain. Pain. Yeah, that's the word. Yes. Pain. Okay. Oh. Entonces, I pain. Podría ser, podría ser entonces llamar al doctor o o o llamar a la Cruz Roja. De mayarte, como dijo ella. Y del RCP. El RCP. <risa> no termina de matar uno, ¿qué tal no es eso? <risa> Con costilla quebrada. No, vale, sí. sí. Aquí o dice que. Los... Aire. Sí. La conoce. Y de Esmeralda Isabel. De verdad. Ah. Pero estuvo faltando la semana pasada porque me acuerdo que la estaban ahí. Ay, no, ya empezó. Sí, sí falté. Ay, primo. <risa> <All right. risa> un gusto, un gusto verla. Okay, students, um, you know, congratulations for the practice. We have seen that 
you have been discussing about, you know, some common situations and some remedies or possibilities that we can try at least. So let's see what happened here. And we go on to the next part. Let me show you here. And also we have containers. That's the next topic. We're talking about containers. And also about containers, it says use the words in the list to complete this expressions. Then compare it with the partner. So let's read it. Let me let's see that. Okay, we have a bag, we have a bottle, we have a box, we have a can, door, pan, peak, tube. So you can see the words that we will use. Those are called containers. Bag, bottle, box, can, yard, pack, stick, tube. So look at that. And also we have some possible uh, possible parts of this one. And do you have a question about these words? Bag, bottle, box, can, jar, pack, stick, and tube. Do you have a question? Uh, stick? A stick is, is como una barra, tipo barra. Uh, okay. Yes. Es, okay. es un contenedor, pero es como una barra. A, a stick of toothpaste. Mm, podría ser tube. For toothpaste. Ah, uh, tubes, yeah. Yes. So, for example, the number one, it says toothpaste. The answer would be? Bag. Um, no. La primera? Box. Uh, tube. Okay, vamos a ver. Tube, all right? A box of aspirin. Okay, number two will be a box of aspirin. Oh. Aunque ocupan bastante el, el bottle. Oh. A bottle, una botellita. Oh, yeah, sí, yeah in the US, in the US, they use a lot of bottles. US, So the number two will be a bottle of aspirin. Aspirin. Okay, what about the number three? It's about bandages. Bandages. Box. A box. A box of bandages. A, a box. Pack. Of, box. Or a pack. pack. No. A pack of Maybe. bandages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three both, a box. Both are. A pack. We could use both. All right. What about the number four? Help me with that. Two. Uh, two. Can. Of shaving cream. Of shaving cream. Crema de afeitar. ¿Cuál creen que sería? So, two. A two. No. Bottle. Podría ser un bottle también. Podría ser como una botella. Un bote de, de, de crema de afeitar. I'm sorry. It can be a can. O oh, puede ser un can también, un, una lata. Una lata quizá. La, la can of shaving cream. Una, crema, una lata de crema de afeitar. So, depending, right? And number five. Tissues. What's the meaning of this word? What? What's the meaning of this word? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Hello? What is the meaning of tissues? Ah, tissues. Uh, tissues es, bueno, tiene dos significados, pero eh, tissues también nosotros lo ocupamos como tipo, como un tipo toallas. O, It's a bag. Sea, Kleenex, como Kleenex, por ejemplo. It is a bag or pack. Back. Puede ser un pack. Podría ser como Kleenex. A, box, a pack, a right? Pack, a bag, a pack. Mm -hmm. A bag or a pack. Okay. Uh, also, it's possible. Uh, number six. Um, a face cream. 
Jar. A bar? Jar. A what? A bar? A bar? Jar. Uh, acuérdense, a, a jar. Um, a jar. Puede ser un tarro para la, digamos, crema para la cara, para el rostro. Sería, puede ser un jar o un bar. A jar of face cream. Yeah. Okay. Para mí un jar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be a jar and also could be a bottle. Yeah, okay. Ambos son correctos. Bottle es como una botella. Solo que bottle es bote o botella. Jar es, una, es un tarro. And what about the number seven? Uh, cold drops. Box. A box of cold drops? Mm -hmm. Pastillas para la tos? Okay. Okay. Can. Bottle. Podría ser box. It's a box. A box, okay. Box. Okay. ¿Qué más? A pack. pack. A pack. O a pack. Podría ser un pack. A pack a of pack. cold drops. Okay. Y mm -hmm. number eight. Vamos con número eight. Um, the other end. Uh, uh, ¿El desodorante? Tab. Uh, okay. A bottle. A bottle. Okay. Bottle. Okay. ok, puede ser un bottle. Stick. Ah, stick. Yeah. Ah, ok. Stick. 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 All right. Maybe stick. 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 Ok, so that's, that's good. También para los. Eh, no, no okay. agregan the, the bag, que en este caso como un bolso o una bolsa, a bag. Okay. Puede ser para los tissues. A possibility to. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's go with the next part. Questions? And we have this topic. The topic is the model verbs can, could, May for request and suggestions. And we were saying that and we use the modal verbs and also it's important uh, to know about the modal verbs. Para empezar, pues decimos que los modal verbs nos expresan a nosotros habilidades, necesidades, nos expresan condición o nos expresan modalidad. Por eso es modal. Eh, entonces... De ahí de que su significado dependa del contexto de la oración. Y los verbos con los que se conjugan también. Por ejemplo, yo digo, my keys must be in the car. Mi llave seguramente está en el auto. Entonces, depende del, del el significado que le demos, así vamos a utilizar el modal verb. Entonces, the most important about the modal verb is to express abilities, necessities, conditions, or models. And that's why it's important. Y tenemos ahí, tenemos can, uh, como el ejemplo de can. ¿Qué nos representa can o qué nos representa could? Como sabemos, tiene, tiene uh, significados eh, diferentes. Vemos ahí, por ejemplo, yo digo que can lo usamos para abilities and also for actions. Ahí estamos. Tenemos el can o el may. Can I help you? May I help you? ¿Puedo ayudarlo? Entonces, ese can es para, como pregunta, right? ¿Puedo ayudarte? Can I help you? O may I help you? Both are the same. Entonces, viene la siguiente. Can I have a box of cold drops? Eh, ¿puedo, ¿Puedo tener o puedes darme un, una caja de, de pastillas para la tos? Entonces, Ahí nos dice un box. Entonces, can I have? Ese can es como puede, de poder, porque lo ocupamos para un request, para solicitar algo y que al final se convierte en un suggestion, es decir, una sugerencia. Okay. Can I have a box of cold drops? Uh, could, could I have something for a cold? Could I have something for a cold? Podría eh, tener algo para la, para la tos. O podría darme algo para todos. Entonces, ese could nos está indicando un que yo estoy solicitando algo. Y vamos con may, que en este caso pues, significa poder. 
Uh, can I have a bottle of aspirin? Can I have a bottle of aspirin? Eh, ¿Podría darme un bote de aspirina? Entonces aquí ocupa la palabra bottle, como hablábamos de las aspirinas. Aquí las venden en cajas. Pero en otros lugares, like United States, for example, people can have a bottle of aspirin. Le venden ya la, la, el bote con, con la medicina. Y tenemos en el otro extremo eh, algunas preguntas, like, what do you suggest? Usted puede decir, what do you suggest? ¿Qué sugieres? Or what do you have? O qué es lo que tienes? Y ahí nos pone un ejemplo, eh, dry skin. Entonces, para la piel seca, what recommendation can you give it to me for, you know, dry skin? Y aquí tenemos tres sugerencias. I uh, try some of this lotion. Entonces, nos indica el verbo try. Que nos quiere decir, ¿y por qué no intentas con esto? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. Entonces, ahí usted pues dice, oh, try it, uh, some Uh, I suggest some oil, man. ¿Y por qué no intentas con una crema? Y ahí nos da el ejemplo. And the last one. You should get some skin cream. Look at that. You should get some skin cream. Entonces, tú deberías eh, tener eh, crema para la piel. Entonces, ahí vemos algunas sugerencias. So, and you can see some examples that, that you can use for using models like can, could, may, for requests or suggestions. Now, we will have to work in the following exercise we have here. Complete this conversation with the verb can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. Tenemos can, de poder, could, de podría, may, de poder, have, de tener, try, de intentar, o probar, suggest, de sugerir, and should, de debería como una sugerencia and then compare and practice with the partner le voy a dejar acá para que usted elija cuál es la palabra que nos combina más si can, may, could, should y luego lo vamos a socializar yes? yes ok, let's go
Okay, almost ready? Ready. Okay, why don't we try? Let's see what happened here. So look at the exercise number one. Letter A, I help you. Can, can I help you? Uh, podemos I usar can can o podemos utilizar? No. May, may. may or can. So we can use both, right? And also the letter B says yes. Yes, what? May I have something. Do I have some, something for eating? It's so it uh, so the answer is could could I? Oh, I have. Could I, could I have? Ah, okay, sure. I have a bottle of eye drops, so the bird would be have good. Okay, number two. What do you what do you? Up for sore muscles. What do you have? What do you have? For your muscles. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and also you say, what do you have for sore muscles? What do you suggest for sore muscles? And the part B says, you try this ointment. It's excellent. So what do you think it is? You? You can try. You should. You should try. You can try. Okay. You, you should do. You should try this do. ointment. Deberías probar este, este ointment. Es excelente. So it's excellent. Okay. Okay. I take it. And, hmm. I take it. Number three. Have a box of bandages, please. Cold. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. Could I have? Here you are. And what do you? What do you? Suggest. Oh, what do you suggest? Suggest. That's a joke. What do you suggest for insomnia? And the answer is? Take some. Take some? Take some. Try some. Try some. Okay, this herbal tea, herbal, herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Mm. Yes, herbal. Yeah, that's good. Definitely, that is a good recommendation. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here in the class. Also, I would like to congratulate you for the great work and effort. And um, you have shown a great commitment being here in the class. And I hope to see you tomorrow. No se les olvide, eh, pues, culminar este día lo que es la sección 1 y 2 de la semana, ¿verdad? Y ya mañana pues iniciamos la siguiente parte. Así que pues eh, agradecerles ahí a todos por su esfuerzo y dedicación en este proceso. Entonces hay que seguir, hay que seguir trabajando y pues hay que seguir practicando también, ¿ok? So have a beautiful night to all of you and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Have a good night, you too. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thanks a lot.